Imagine you're cruising at 30,000 feet. Everything is calm. And then suddenly the unexpected happens. A loud bang, a rush of wind. It's the kind of scenario we all dread, but for pilots, it's what they train for relentlessly. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on the intense secret world of pilot emergency training, revealing the extraordinary drills that turn pilots into masters of crisis. This is the training they hope you'll never have to see in action. You've probably seen the headlines like the recent Alaska Airlines incident where a door plug blew out mid-flight, a brand new plane, a routine flight, and then chaos. Passengers saw the sky through a gaping hole in the side of the aircraft. Instantly, questions arise. How could this happen? What went wrong? And most importantly, how did the pilots manage to land safely? This single event highlights a critical truth about aviation. Even the most reliable systems can fail. It forces us to ask, how do pilots prepare for something so rare, so sudden, so structurally catastrophic? The answer isn't just in a manual, it's forged in the high-stakes, high-pressure environment of the flight simulator. Welcome to the multi-million dollar world of full-motion flight simulators. This is where pilots spend countless hours facing their worst nightmares. These aren't video games, they are hyper-realistic cockpits that can replicate virtually any emergency imaginable with stunning accuracy. Want to simulate the exact conditions of the Alaska Airlines flight? The instructors can program it. They can create a fuselage breach, trigger rapid decompression, and even mimic the terrifying sound of rushing wind. Inside this box, pilots aren't just practicing. They are living through what-if scenarios over and over again. What if a subtle warning light indicates a problem with a door seal? What if the autopilot disconnects without warning? What if the cabin pressure drops catastrophically? Instructors will throw curveball after curveball, pushing pilots to their absolute limits. The goal isn't just to follow a checklist, it's to build muscle memory and instinct so that when a real crisis hits, the response is immediate, precise, and calm. This repeated drilling ensures that panic is replaced by procedure. But handling an emergency is about more than just flying the plane. It's a profound psychological challenge. This is where the training goes beyond technical skills and delves into the art of crisis management. Pilots are trained to build immense mental resilience. Imagine alarms blaring, the aircraft shaking, and the lives of hundreds of people in your hands. The ability to stay focused, to think clearly under that kind of extreme pressure, is a skill that is deliberately cultivated a core part of this is Crew Resource Management, or CRM. It's the philosophy that two heads are better than one, especially in a crisis. In the simulator, pilots practice communicating with crystal clarity. The pilot flying the aircraft focuses on stabilizing the plane, while the pilot monitoring works through checklists, diagnoses the problem, and communicates with air traffic control. They are trained to challenge each other respectfully, cross-check decisions, and work as a single cohesive unit. This teamwork is what prevents a bad situation from becoming a catastrophic one. They also learn how to manage the human element, how to speak to the cabin crew, how to reassure passengers, and how to project an aura of calm even when their own adrenaline is pumping. Let's look at a real-world case. Air France 447. This tragic flight from Rio to Paris in 2009 encountered a nightmare scenario where multiple seemingly unrelated systems failed at once. Ice crystals clogged the pitot tubes, the sensors that measure airspeed. As a result, the autopilot disconnected and the pilots were suddenly faced with unreliable airspeed information and conflicting stall warnings. They were flying blind in a storm over the middle of the Atlantic Ocean at night. In training, pilots break down complex failures like this step-by-step. -step. The first rule is always fly the airplane, maintain pitch and power. Then they work the problem. What systems are still reliable? What is the plane telling us? For a stall recovery, the procedure is clear. Nose down, apply full power, and regain airspeed. 
However, in the confusion of Air France 447, with conflicting data and high-altitude aerodynamics at play, the crew became disoriented. This tragedy led to a massive overhaul in pilot training, with a renewed focus on manual flying skills and recognizing and recovering from high-altitude stalls, even with unreliable instruments. It underscored the need for pilots to not just follow procedures, but to possess a deep, fundamental understanding of aerodynamics and their aircraft, allowing them to improvise when checklists aren't enough. Thankfully, today's pilots have an incredible ally in the cockpit, advanced avionics. Modern aircraft are like flying data centers. Pilots are presented with a wealth of real-time information on massive class displays, covering everything from engine performance to the status of every door and window. These systems are designed to be intuitive, giving pilots a comprehensive picture of the aircraft's health at a glance. But technology is only as good as the person using it. A huge part of modern training is learning to interpret this mountain of data. Pilots are trained to spot the subtle cues, the small amber messages that might appear on a screen, indicating a potential problem long before it becomes an emergency. Is there a minor pressure fluctuation in the fuselage? Is one system running slightly hotter than another? This is where pilot expertise and technology converge. The avionics provide the data, but the pilot's experience, intuition, and training allow them to understand the story that data is telling. This synergy is what keeps us safe. Advanced avionics act as a silent guardian, an extra layer of security constantly monitoring the aircraft, but it's the pilot who is the ultimate decision maker. They are trained to trust their instruments but also to verify what they're seeing. They learn when to let the automation help and when to take full manual control. It's this combination of a highly trained, resilient human and cutting edge technology that forms the bedrock of modern aviation safety. So the next time you board a flight and settle into your seat, remember the unseen guardians in the cockpit. They aren't just drivers. They are masters of their craft, forged in the fires of the most intense training imaginable. They have faced down decompression, engine failures, and catastrophic systems malfunctions, all from the safety of a simulator. So they are prepared for the day it might happen for real. Their calm demeanor is a reflection of countless hours of preparation, designed to ensure that even on the worst day, they can bring you home safely. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this look into the world of pilot training fascinating, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more deep dives into the world of aviation. Fly safe, and we'll see you in the next one.